it is going to cost us money and partly because of the accidents that take place on Houston highways like this. Now there are some companies that have mentioned that they will be raising rates. They include USAA, Allstate, and Farmers. And Allstate even came up with a study that says, get this, here in Houston, once every seven years, a driver will get into an accident. On the average, it's no wonder why. It's no secret that traffic in Houston can be bad. Now, I've seen people get a little crazy. They'll get out on you and start beeping their horn. But I guess that's just part of it. The amount of money people pay to insure their cars is part of the deal, too. And insurance is going to go up. What do you think about that? Uh, that's going to be a bad thing for people that are in limited income. While some insurance premiums actually drop, many others may go up by as much as 8%. I can see why, you know, just more wrecks more money. Uh, I don't think they should go up. The rising costs of covering auto body repairs and medical bills are just two of the reasons for the rising rates. Have you ever seen anything crazy on the highway when you're driving down? Like, what'd that guy do? Yeah, cars you flip over. you seen cars flip over? Yeah. And some drivers might even flip out when they see their next insurance bill. But there is a way to save money. You can shop around. You can look at other policies, you can look at other agents, or you can ask your same agent to see if he has anything better for you. One thing that's not getting better is traffic in our city. Oh, I've seen actually somebody get out the car and bang on someone's window. You might want to bang on the table and holler out, man, when you learn how much it'll cost to keep driving in Houston. And while traffic seems to get worse and worse, insurance rates for the past 10 years or so, I'm told, have been pretty stable. It was only during the past year, year and a half, that they started to go up. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Vicente Adonis, KHOU 11 News.